welcome back to the channel everyone hi elves as you can tell this is not our normal video we're doing a vlog today yes we are mobile right now today's video get excited because a little birdie told me thank you nashville area middle tennessee area elves you all let me know that there is a bath and body works outlet yes a bath and body works outlet that is not too far away and I can't not go. I, I can't not go. So I decided, and myself as well as the head elf, he's driving. We love the head elf, everyone. Shout out to him. That's why I can film right now while we're heading out here. And we're going to have fun. So we're going to drive out here to the outlet mall, Bath and Body Works outlet store. It's roughly about a 30 minute drive. So, true outlet, you know. They always are outside of the city. You kind of have to travel out there. It's always a journey. But hey, we kind of have nothing else to do, so it just makes for a fun ride. So hopefully this is worthwhile of a trip. I hope it's a good time. I hope they have some good finds. SAS is still happening, although SAS is going to wrap up in about another week or so. So it's still happening. Let's see if the outlet is going to have some good finds, some good clearance finds, just all around. And plus, this is my first time ever going to an outlet store. So I got pretty high hopes about this. Never been to one's first time experience. Got a little bit ways to go and yeah, let's have some fun. So we're finally roughly about two miles away from the outlet mall. Seemed like, you know, it went by pretty fast. So I'm glad it wasn't too far of a trek. So getting excited, got some butterflies. I just really hope they have some finds in here and we didn't take this journey for absolutely no reason. Okay, so all right, our exit is coming up shortly. So yeah. coming out here roughly about 10 12 years ago and it used to be full out here at this outlet mall y'all so many stores are gone this is interesting so we're gonna see um, wow this is a real shock so um yeah this was definitely a trip
ready to sit down and show you all what all I got from the outlet, you all. It was definitely a trick, as you all have seen. And yeah, I couldn't leave without getting a few things. Oh, by the way, of course, I have to include this lipstick of the day, everyone. I've been loving this color. This is definitely going to make a faves and obsessions video when the next time I do one. But this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is Ashton Liquid Lipstick. I'll link it below as always. Also, fragrance of the day, because I know you all like to know these things. It is Morning Chest from Wilhelm Parfumery, because it goes so well with the cool, very cool and rainy day that we had. So nice and bright, I was here for it. So now let's get into the haul, because as you all did see, I did leave out with a bag, rather. The head elf was rolling with the bag. We love him for that. <laughs> Yeah, you all, he made his on-screen debut finally. Baby steps, you all, baby steps. So, okay, I have a few items, and I'm proud, you all. I spent only $30 at the outlet, but I still have a bag of stuff, so I feel very good about this. So, yeah, let's get into it. First thing I picked up, this is a soap I hadn't seen before, and this is Lemon Poppy Seed. I just don't remember seeing this when I was like, it's lemon, it's gourmand. I said, I feel like that ought to be a good time at my kitchen sink. So let's see, the notes are poppy seed, scone, zesty lemon, and sugar glaze. I'm gonna smell this because I have no idea how this smells you all. So let's see what happens. Oh, this is really good. Ooh, it smells like a lemon cinnamon bun, if it makes any kind of sense. Very nice, heavier on the cinnamon bun side than the actual lemon. This is a nice situation. Hmm. I like this. This is a slip on soap, very nice. And this is lemon poppy seed. This was on their clearance table. So when I saw it and the price seemed right, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. So that's the only soap I got. Then also in the clearance section, they had some single weeks. And I know y'all like, girl, didn't you tell us you're not buying any more single weeks in 2023? I said yes, only if the price made sense, or it had to be a scent that I really, really love and can't get. And this one fit the bill. So this was a clearance candle, and it's one of my absolute favorite fall scents, and this is Pumpkin Bonfire. With it being super cold right now, it smells like a fireplace. Mm, a spicy pumpkin fireplace. Oh, I love this scent so much. Oh, it has the notes on it so I can share with you all. So the notes in Pumpkin Bonfire are, we have clove buds, glowing embers, white pumpkin. So yes, spices and pumpkin, fireplace, yes. And I love this. So yes, I did have to make an exception to the rule. <laughs> Next up, I finally saw the infamous um, double packs of wallflowers while I was in the store. I've never been able to see those, especially a big selection of them. So I figured, hey, to commemorate the trip, first time ever going to an outlet, why not get some? I was very intrigued by this set because I hadn't seen this and this is the, the enhanced fragrance version and this is the marshmallow fireside wallflowers. So very nice. It's toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, and roasted vanilla, which is all on the front. Don't have to read it off the back. So yes, it's a double pack and these were on the $6 table. So I'm like $6 for two of an enhanced fragrance of the Marshmallow Fireside, which is perfect for right now. I figure why not, let's get it. And I also picked up a year round favorite in the wallflowers because this just smells divine, especially in the springtime. And this is the OG and this is rose water and ivy. Cause I always like to have rose water ivy in my collection just whenever I'm feeling that type of mood because I just love this scent. And the notes in Rose Water and Ivy are Soft Rose Petals, Rain Kissed Ivy, Spring Musk. So, oldie but goodie. Then the last thing I picked up was they did have some $10 candles. And you all know, that's what I go for first anyway. So everything else is a bonus because y'all know how I am. So yeah, and they double wrapped my candles and everything. They were so nice. Shout out to the Lebanon team. They were very hospitable and very helpful and very understanding too. So the candle I picked up was the Caramel Pumpkin Swirl, which I love this scent. It's sickly sweet and gourmand. I'm here for it. It smells like straight up caramel. And right now this is perfect because it's dropping down to 30 something tonight. And yes, notes and pumpkin caramel are Luscious caramel, ground cinnamon, rich brown sugar. So yes, sickly sweet, like I told y'all. Original price, $24.50. Again, I got this for $10. And speaking of prices, 
I do have my receipt. As I told you all, um, total, I spent $30, $30.73. So yes, my candle was $10. My, these du double packs of wallflowers, these were $6 a piece. And let's see, my soap was $3. And then let's see, my candle that I got, this was three bucks. So I was like, okay, I'll take it because it's better than the $15.50 price point that they have. So all in all, spent 30 bucks and pretty memorable. These are all items that I'm very happy about and I don't already have in my collection at this moment in time. So it was worthwhile. So all in all, I had a fun experience going out to Lebanon today. It was about a roughly, yeah, about a 30 minute trip, about a 30 minute drive. Special thanks again to the head elf for joining me, which allowed me to make this a vlog and a haul for you all. Just trying to spice things up this year, Els. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you been to an outlet before? Let me know. But overall, it was fun. And you can find things in there that, especially for body care, they had a lot of body care. They had items in there for like from the summer and the spring that people were really excited about. So, and people were really in the store getting those type of items, which I get. If I was a body care person, I would have had more fun, but hey, it is what it is. They didn't have as much of my type of stuff, the home fragrance, but I, I do like what I have and I'm very happy about it. So that is all. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you ever been to a Bath & Body Works official outlet store? What's been your experience? Are you still shopping SAS? Because yes, SAS is still going on at the time I'm filming this video. We got about a week left of it. Yeah. But all in all, I think I'm about done. This wraps it up for me. This was the last real big thing I wanted to do surrounding SAS, unless they just do a massive markdown everywhere. It just in my regular local stores that's nearby. But other than that, this wraps it up for me. I'm good. That's it on Winter SAS. <laughs> all right. This is like the third time me ending this video. I'll catch y'all next one. Bye, y'all.